Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Today in this video, as usual, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold, US dollar, currency pairs. Let us look at the overall price action in weekly time frame. Then eventually mark the current support and resistance levels in the lower time frames. So when we look at the events plan for today, today is Wednesday, October 26th. We have high impact news plan for Australian dollar related currency pairs. Then at 7.30 pm we have high impact news plan for Canadian dollar related currency pairs. We have one medium impact news plan for US dollar related currency pairs. Then again at 8.30 pm we have high impact news plan for Canadian dollar related currency pairs. So requesting you to plan your trades based on this events calendar schedules. Let us begin our gold analysis. So I am in weekly time frame now. Here I have already marked the support line or a trend line. We can notice that as long as the price action was trading below this resistance line, we had noticed the price action to bounce back. And once the price action broke this resistance line, we are noticing this resistance line to be acting as a support line preventing the price action from falling further on the bearish side. So currently also we are noticing the price action to retrace and take support on this trend line or the support line and only when the price action breaks this trend line we can expect the bearish side trend reversal to start in weekly time frame. As long as the price action is trading above this support line we can expect the bounce back on the bullish side retracement. This trend line is a very strong support because it is from the weekly time frame. But still supports are only for reference and we can expect it to bridge it if there is a very strong bearish strength. Only thing is that it will take much more higher volume to break this support level. And when we look at the price action between this support level of 1642 1615 we have noticed a price action to retrace up to the support level of 1615 then to bounce back on the bullish side retracement again when we notice a body's closing actual transaction that happened was above the support level of 1640 so the sellers wanted to bring the market much lower but the buyers did not allow the price to close below the support level of 1640 so this area between 1640 to 1615 is a very strong support zone for now as we already know there is a trend line so it will require a high volume candle to actually bridge this support zone let us do the analysis in daily time frame daily. when we look at the trend of the price action in daily time frame i am drawing a trend line or a resistance line and it is very clear that it is in a bearish trend but after testing the support level of 1615, we are noticing the price action to be trading on a sideways momentum. It couldn't break the strong support zone between 1640 to 1615 from the weekly time frame. And also we have the weekly time frame trend line or the support line running over here, which it has to break in order to continue trending on the bearish side trend. So although the price action in daily time frame is on a bearish trend but the current bearish trend has come to an halt in daily time frame. So once the price action breaks the previous high which is going to be around 1730 we can expect the bullish side retracement to start in daily time frame or once the price action breaks this support line we can expect the bearish trend to start in daily time frame. Currently it is on a consolidation or on a sideways price action in daily time frame. So the values within this blue color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in daily time frame. Currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1658 and support level of 1640. If this support level is broken, next level of support is going to be around 1615. And if the price action breaks a resistance level of 1658, next level of resistance is going to be around 1672, 1686, 1707, 1732, 
and 17.65 and once the price action breaks the resistance level of 17.32 it will be the start of the bullish side retracement in daily time frame let us do the analysis in 4 hours time frame I am in 4 hours time frame and we know from the past price action that previously the price action took support on the support level of 16.15 then it went on a bullish side retracement again testing the resistance line from the daily time frame we have noticed the price action to retrace up to the previous low which was around 16.15 and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement but again this level of 16.72 is acting as a very strong resistance level so currently we are noticing the price action to bounce back on the bearish side retracement again i would recommend you to draw a resistance line or a trend line to understand the current trend of the price action for 4 hours time frame and as long as the price action is trading below this black color resistance line from the 4 hours time frame we can expect the bearish side trend to continue in 4 hours time frame also so once the price action breaks this resistance line we can expect it to retest on the daily time frame resistance line or the trend line so the current trend of the price action in 4 hours time frame is in a bearish trend for now. Let us do the analysis in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame now. When we look at the price action in hourly time frame, we have noticed a price action to make a double bottom pattern and to retest on the resistance line from the 4 hours time frame and have made a bearish side trend reversal. Although the current trend of the price action is in a bearish trend, we can notice that it is struggling to break the higher time frame resistance level of 1661 and support level of 1614. So current price action is in a sideways momentum in hourly time frame. So I would recommend you to wait for the price action to give a breakout on the bearish side or on the bullish side in order to take trades on the direction it gives a breakout. Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So the values within this black color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in hourly time frame. Currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1657 and support level of 1648. And if the price action breaks a support level of 1648, next level of support is going to be around 1640, 1633, 1622, 1615 and 1608. And if the price action breaks a resistance level of 1657, next level of resistance is going to be the higher time frame resistance level of 1661 and 1673. For now, the price action in hourly time frame is on a sideways price action. Let us do the analysis in 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame. Again, the price action in 30 minutes time frame also from the resistance level of 1661 we have noticed it to trend on the bearish side and again to take support around the support level of 1640 and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement but still it couldn't break the previous resistance level of 1661 and currently we are noticing the price action to bounce back on the bearish side retracement as long as this level of 1640 is not broken we can expect the sideways price action to continue in 30 minutes time frame also and only when the price action breaks a 4 hours time frame resistance line we can expect the bullish side retracement to start in 30 minutes time frame also let us mark the support and resistance levels so the values within this black color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 30 minutes time frame currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1654 and support level of 1650 and if the price action breaks a support level of 1650 next level of support is going to be around 1646 1642 1640 1636 1629 and 1621 and if the price action breaks a resistance level of 1654 next level of resistance is around 1661 and 1662 let us mark the support and resistance levels for 15 minutes time frame. I am in 15 minutes time frame now. 
and in 15 minutes time frame if i draw a resistance line it is very clear that the current trend of the price action is in a bearish trend and as long as the price action is trading below this resistance line we can expect the bearish trend to continue in 15 minutes time frame and if the price action gives a breakout from this resistance line you can take trades on the bullish side retracement so the values within this black color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 15 minutes time frame currently the price action is trading between the support level of 1650 and if this support level is broken next level of support is around 1647 1643 1640 and 1638 and on the bullish side if the price action breaks the resistance level of 1653 next level of resistance is going to be around 1656 1661 and 1662 that's all the analysis for today thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and share this video with your friends